Oh my god, he's red. <laughs> All right, guys, durian hunting in the great white north. So, we're hoping today to find real durian. Spiky and stinky and incredibly delicious. But we might have to settle for some uh, frozen kind of freezer packed or something. We'll see what we can find. Our first time looking for durian in Canada. We're starting today at Costco, which is a wholesaler. So they've got tons of stuff. We've heard they have durian sometimes. We'll see what we can find. Hopefully we can find it. After this, maybe we'll go to some Chinese grocery stores, see if they have it. Anyway, durian hunting here in Canada. Let's go. All right, so truly something for everyone here at Costco. We started walking through the electronics section. We also wandered through the clothing section. You'll notice the entire store is sort of like a warehouse, so it's unfinished concrete floors and everything is still on pallets for forklifts. So I think at nighttime they close the store and run forklifts through the aisles. They're selling everything in bulk. We will take a little detour away from our durian hunt to show you the sheer size of the things. <laughs> it's sort of incredible. So we found three kilograms of feta cheese which comes in a bucket that looks like it's for construction. <laughs> it's like it's some sort of drywall putty. Uh, tons of gigantic things of meat. Most of them mm -hmm. I've never even tried before. Some of them are in big pouches and right. you know more than a kilogram of stuff, <laughs> which is sort of interesting. Uh, we did find a produce section. We don't have very many foreign items. Fruits. Here, yeah. It's pretty much local. So we're still looking for durian. Oh, yeah. Although we thought it might be interesting to show you the incredible supermarkets of Canada <laughs> and North America where everything's bigger. Right, right. So let's keep journeying more and then we'll hopefully find some durian. Okay, let's go. Free samples. Marinara. With uh, some bread. Yeah. Okay, see if you like. Thank you. Sure, okay, thank you. Very good. Can you give pasta, pizza? Mm -hmm. Pasta and pizza. Pasta. Thank you. Thank you. Not a bad uh, supermarket. You get some, some snacks as you're shopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can have a whole lunch here. You could have your lunch here. <laughs> and you might be shopping here for an hour or two, so you might get hungry. Mm -hmm. Coconut oil. How much? For 20, 20 bucks for 2.3 kgs. There you have it. So we found a bit of a quiet aisle, which is I think the only empty aisle in the store. Oh, where ghee. you? <coughs> oh, ghee. Desi ghee. Yeah. Clarified butter. What's the price of that? 23 bucks. Whoa, this thing is more expensive than coconut oil. I guess so. Hmm. There you have it. And you can get uh, 16 liters of vegetable oil. <laughs> <laughs> the best. You know, people always ask me what's Canadian food. Technically, this is American food, <laughs> but this is good stuff, man. This is born and raised on this right here. There's the noodles right there with the fake cheese. <clears throat> My mom asked me, what do you miss most about Canadian food? I said, honestly, craft dinner. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, but it's really good. Ivana, go ahead. This is mayonnaise. New brand. And this is, it's coleslaw. No. Oh, chicken. Yeah. Chicken and mayonnaise. Survey says? Very good. Nice. The shopping experience here at Costco. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Not bad. Tastes like tuna. <laughs> Chicken and mayonnaise. Chicken and mayonnaise. Uh, oh, Thai red curry noodles. Sounds good. Oh, it's like this. Looks like pasta. Ready in five minutes. Just add hot water. Oh, it's like it's like Maggie. It's like an instant noodle. A little spicy. Very nice. Thank, thank you. you. That's okay. Thank you. Uh, quite the shopping experience here in uh, Costco. All right. So we sort of struck out at Costco on our durian hunt. We sort of expected to strike out there, but we wanted to show you the incredible size of the store 
in the sort of warehouse atmosphere of the grocery store. I didn't realize they have a restaurant right by checkout. So you can mm -hmm. wander around like Yvonne and I did and get three or four snacks. And then as you're paying, you can actually go get a burger or something at the restaurant or a pizza or something. So we wanted to show you guys the massive carts and the massive store of Costco. I think they do have Dury in there, but only dur during Chinese, Chinese New Year. year yeah. So we sort of expected to strike out, but we wanted to show you the restaurant and the store. And now we will go to a Chinese supermarket, hopefully more likely to um, find some durian. And then, fingers crossed, we'll get some of my friends around who have obviously never tried durian and we'll get them to have their honest reaction. Um, that will be interesting. Hoping we can find some full durian fruit, not yeah. just the frozen ones, but we'll see what we can find. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find here, although it's, more, it's becoming more common nowadays Fair. to find durian. So, Fair. let's go. Let's go. Whoa, look at this building. It looks like it's a deck of cards all sideways stacked up. Same over here. Oh, shout out. Shout out to Mississauga City Hall. Downtown Mississauga, baby. Right, Wan Ming Supermarket. And to be clear guys, this is similar to Lion City. Less than a kilometer from my parents' house. Been here for a decade or something. Never stepped foot inside. So, uh, your first look as well as my first look at the inside of a Chinese supermarket in Mississauga. That's right, you've never been either. I've never been in here. I have no idea what to expect. Let's go, Wan Ming. Jackfruit. Oh, green jackfruit. What? Getting closer. I have never seen it. Getting closer. We got shredded young coconut. Young coconut. But jackfruit is close, no? Yeah. It could be in here. I mean, it, it looks kind of. What is this? Banana? Oh, I thought that was it. Bananas. Okay. Lumpia. There's some uh, Filipino sausages. Could be in here. It yeah. Looks like we're in the right spot. Pomelo. 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 Hmm. Let's see. Look what I found. Da 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 da. <laughs> Frozen durian. Six bucks a pound. Oh, it's gonna be expensive, isn't it? <laughs> We did it. Okay, so found durian. So shout out to one thing supermarket. He's probably been here our whole lives. <laughs> and we would have never come. It's not fresh. Definitely not fresh because it's probably grown from, it might be probably from Malaysia or oh, probably from Thailand. Thailand, it's okay. Thai, so it's from far away. Maybe we'll get two durians. Two? Uh, I think only one. One? <laughs> so I am actually a durian opening expert. So if you follow these lines here, this is one section, two. So it's probably got six sections. We'll start from here, we'll open it up. So do you know how to make a good one or do you think they're all good? How you pick a good one. Yeah. So we should look for a star on the bottom, which means it's Musan King. <laughs> this is not Musan King. It's I not Musan think. King, guys. It's from Thailand. I think it's uh, Thailand should be like Motong durian or something. I mean, I have no idea how to pick it, to be honest. I'm just going to go for one. And right beside it is the octopus. Durian Frozen octopus. octopus. Tell me, are you excited? <laughs> be honest. I am excited to try. I mean, it doesn't smell like anything right now, huh? Frozen. No, yeah. Frozen, right? We'll just take this one. It's the biggest one. It's It's got a stem on it. Looks good. This one is missing a stem. How come so this one looks flat? Is that okay? Flat? Yeah. A little more spice? No, oh, up to you, up to you. But you're like... Maybe the stem is good. I don't know. I don't know how to choose a good one, Steve. <laughs> we found your end. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, you also found jackfruit. This is the cousin of the durian. Wow. This is very common in Brazil, by the way. Brazil yeah. and Malaysia. $1.39 a pound. Oh. Not so, not so fancy. But it's much more cheaper than uh, the durian. 
Yeah. Hey? It's so big. Huge. Look at this. Wow. All right. And mini watermelon. You know what pomelo is? Pomelo. It's like giant, giant grapefruit. We can try one. They're not very yummy. Oh, we can try one. Oh, like it's like grapefruit. Okay, something else. It's only seven okay. bucks each. Oh, sapota. This is like um. Uh, oh, chiku. Chiku. Yeah, yeah. Chiku. I don't know what that this is. It's like cinnamon. Let's get one for my mom. What do you do with it? Eat it. Just like that, and are you eating cinnamon? Cinnamon fruit. You get it for you. Cinnamon fruit. It's and it tastes like cinnamon? Yeah. Shout out. Old Town Malaysian, Malaysian Coffee. Hey, right, sometimes, remember we tried durian coffee? Durian coffee was okay. Yeah. Durian with, with other stuff is okay. Right. Except for durian ice cream is good. Oh, this is also from Re Malaysia, I think. Oh, we tried this before. Remember? This is the little uh, little slices of fruit. Yeah. Half flakes. Yeah. Dude, this Whoa, is like traveling. It's amazing that I love travel so much, and yet my whole life I could have just came here, <laughs> and I never even walked in the door. Anchovies? <laughs> is it little anchovies, no? Not for me. What Ooh. is this? Oh, crabs. I don't know what that Mini is. Mini crabs. Look, look, look. Okay. Mini crab. Okay. Buy some nibbles. Mm. Beef stick. Oh, yeah. I love this pokey. Right? Yeah. But this is like, this is like traveling. You have to come with someone who knows because I, I, don't know what I know bananas. Banana. <laughs> Good one. Me too. Oh, this is Indonesian candy. Indonesian coffee candy. Oh, tamarind candy. That could be good. Tamarind. Oh, I like tamarind candy. I don't know. Sour. It might be weird for you guys. Okay, we'll we'll prepare a little smorgasbord. Candies and fruits and yeah. We'll this is all nice, the dried uh, Chinese fruits. Dried fruits. This is nice. Look this is like this. I don't know what they are really. Oh. Lay's chips, but I cannot figure out what flavor this is. It's like a hot pot. Yeah, it looks like hot Seafood pot. Seafood hot pot. Hot pot chips. <laughs> you want to try it? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I think like I'm traveling again. Wow. It's so funny. We live in the most multicultural city in the world and we never went to the other places. <laughs> you are so plane, funny. Went to the other <laughs> well, this is kind of like a little traveling for you. This is like a little trip. Okay, let's go to the other aisle because we've only been in one aisle and everything is like surprising. <laughs> and you can also find like Pakistani or Indian flavoring. Biryani. Here, biryani. Achar ghosh. Shami kebab. Shami kebab, which is nice. Yeah. Wow. And also a Shan, Shan brand here, like this oh, one. Yeah, Nihari. Oh, Nihari. This is all Pakistani and Indian. Yeah. Halim. You like Halim. Halim is really nice. Nihari kebab. You like that one. Nihari kebab. Nice. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting inspired to travel. We, we should fly tonight. Babe. I'm <laughs> oh, another durian thing. Durian, durian cake. cake. So many durian. Uh, products actually yeah, yeah. i'm surprised steve remember this it's a spicy one right yeah 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 that's good actually we tried like, it in korea mm -hmm. <laughs> by the way what is this we, me and my mom are joking around Dry oh bean curd yeah that's like tofu skin Looks it's, like it's good plastic. i like it you like this yeah make it into soup my mom and i were saying <laughs> that's, that, that's like so this. interesting yeah dried bean curd like tofu skin it's good just eat it dry no, no, you cook it mostly uh, with soup or like uh, stir fry. <laughs> wow, it's like traveling now. I think we should buy this as a gift for Steve. <laughs> they got all types of paste here. Salted shrimp fry. What else here? Oh, well, I think this is like Filipino product. And Halo Halo. That's a Filipino dessert. <laughs> wow. All right, so we successfully found durian. I would like to take this time to ask you to guess the price of the durian. $6 a pound. 
I guess how much it costs. Pounds. Well, everyone's guessing now. And so I'll tell you. Thirty-three dollar durian. Boy, I so hope it must be it. it's it's five and a half pounds, I suppose. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully it tastes authentic to what our experience has been eating durian. It's from Thailand and the breed of durian is Montong. Montong durian from Thailand. So we'll see. Anyway, in the next footage coming up, we'll try to get all my friends and family and as many people as we can, including my lovely mother, to try the durian. So starting now, we'll have the first time ever eating durian montage. All right, let's eat. Yeah, keep, the durian safe. keep the durian safe. We'll put it here in the baby seat, okay? Nice and safe. Here we go. Fire in the hole. Oh, oh look at that. What a good cutter. We'll see. I can't smell anything yet. Oh. No, it's not split. Oh, jeez, it's brown. It's supposed to be yellow. Oh, it doesn't look good, does it? Doesn't look good at all. Dude, it looks Maybe gross, actually. Is okay. $33 worth of... $33 worth of garbage. Oh, Hold on. Inside it's okay. Oh, it smells bad, doesn't it? Shit. <laughs> 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 oh, you don't smell it. it. Smells like someone farted, to be honest. When they first wafted it, yeah. That was... <laughs> so usually this is not what it looks like to me. This is a new experience here. We gotta find the meat, man. Oh, it looks like there's some over here in the bottom one. <laughs> there's some meat. Oh, oh there's some, there's some, there's some. Okay, hold on. There's a good chunk over here. <laughs> oh, it's brown. It doesn't look very oh, nice. A big piece but of the there. inside it's you're okay. Nice. Oh, Steve, I think you're... Like, it smells a bit like pumpkin. Is I that think that your right? cutting skills is you know, not that good. Oh, don't eat. you eat this? No, no, this is the show. <laughs> you're eating that. Oh, it smells like pumpkin, doesn't it? I can see yeah. It doesn't smell You get a plate. Sit, sit. It doesn't smell bad. It almost looks like an omelet. Oh, what? It looks like an omelet. Oh, that texture. Go ahead, oh, that's Josh. so big. Go ahead, Josh. So there's a <laughs> seed in there. Don't bite it. Just kind of slurp it off with your lips. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Josh, don't do it if you don't want to. So you guys know Josh from Greece? He is the history cheater. <laughs> yeah. He's the history <laughs> cheater. <laughs> the two cheaters of the history just challenge. Just a little, just a little, just a little nibble. Can I have a glass of water? Are <laughs> too happy? Yeah, that's going to help. Coffee and durian might be good. I can eat it inside. Oh. It doesn't look that bad. Don't smell it. <laughs> you could like it. You could like it. Give it a chance, give it a chance. What does it smell like first? It's like pumpkin. Um, <laughs> he already did. Oh. He can't do it. <laughs> you don't have oh, it. It doesn't smell good. You don't have to. Have one. you smelled it? It doesn't smell that strong. The ones in Malaysia are much stronger smelling. And they're more yellow. They look so, beautiful, actually. Slurred what does it smell Let like? Let get out in case he has to, you know. I'm going to throw up. Just... <laughs> don't be shy. I'll do it together with you. It's good. What does it smell like? What do you think? Does it taste like durian? Oh, it's pretty good actually. The flavor's pretty good. Wow. Steve likes this. You just like to breathe it down. It's not bad. Alright. It's not bad. You got this, babe. It's not as good as the Malaysian durian, let's be clear. Go, don't be shy, bud. Don't be shy. <laughs> Come on! That's not so bad. <laughs> oh my god, he's red. Oh, I got down. Oh. Not your favorite. It actually doesn't taste that bad. <laughs> what? Really? Well, then what was all that for? Well, what's Diane? Mom and Jesus. You're gonna like it. You're crying. <sighs> kind of good, right? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor's not bad, it's kind of similar to. What does it taste green. like? <laughs> what does it taste like? The aftertaste. The Look at it, he's tearing up. Oh, I'm dying here. <laughs> Don't, do that. don't try this at home. The taste is not as bad, but don't that have smell. More. So the taste is not as bad as it smells. Does it? Kind of good. Can I have a taste? Okay, your mom's turn. There's a big seed in there. Go for this bit right here. That's a good bit right there. Don't let Josh's don't, reaction feel you. Don't sniff <laughs> while you're biting. Feel the texture. Feel the cheesiness. Feel this kind of slippery. Oh. Right? Oh. Right? It's... I don't like it. <laughs> what does it taste like? What would you describe it like? Hard to describe, right? Very unique flavor. It tastes like stinky socks to be really eaten. Yes! Stinky socks. And the texture is not good. The texture is awful. I think that's the worst part of it. Really? <laughs> the texture is like, um... It's like you had melted cheese that hardened. 
Yeah, like congealed cheese. Yeah, congealed cheese. Yeah. 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 Good description. But the taste, stingy though, as well. You wouldn't expect this to be a fruit. But the taste is very yeah. unfruity. Yeah, it's not fruity. I, I'm surprised. I thought it was. But you're still fruit. taking <laughs> bites of it. Let Ivana have a taste. Yeah. <laughs> Let Ivana taste. Go ahead, Ivana. It's pretty good. Josh. <laughs> Josh, stop eating it. He's trying so hard. Why don't you take another bite? Look at this. Actually, the inside doesn't look that bad. I mean, it. It's pretty good. I, I was worried it was gonna be no meat in it. It was gonna be yeah. done. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it looks a little bit brown because it, I think it was it has it's been. It's probably a one bowl. It looks bowl. like yeah. a yeah. uncooked dough. A little bit like raw dough. A little bit like dough. Yeah. 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 Or like half cooked dough. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, the smell is not as strong. Not as strong. Not bad. So we'll save this half for maybe my sister and some more people. Yeah. But we got some good reactions. So, so uh, five stars, four stars, three <laughs> stars, negative five stars. The taste. I'll give it to three star. Negative three. The texture. Wow. <laughs> the, the texture is getting a zero. Right. The taste. I'll give it a three. The taste isn't too bad. Uh, it's a texture thing for you. Yeah. It's like mushy and stringy and. Yeah. It's not, not as strong. It's not as strong as legendary. Yeah. Okay. Manageable. Tastes like ice cream, no? Not really. <laughs> That's the kind of ice cream that I eat. <laughs> to be honest, if you have a bowl of vanilla ice cream and like put this on top, that'd go real well with ice cream. Oh. They do make durian ice cream. Yeah. Like, kind of like that. I can yeah. see that. There you have it, guys. All right, stay tuned for more Durian Adventures. More uh, first time trying. <laughs> it smells really bad. It's cold. Does it smell too cold? Well, I put it in the fridge. Yeah, so you have to keep it. it smells really bad, don't you think? Yeah, it does smell really it smell bad. Can I see this one for this? This tastes like fluff. <laughs> tastes like what? I would say it's, it's, it's uncooked dough. <laughs> And cooked dough, yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah, but you, pizza dough or maybe but that's bread. A, that's more like the texture. You can taste like a little bit of fruit, like it tastes fruity, no? Yeah, wrapped with like sweet. cooked dough. <laughs> the texture is terrible, but we can. The texture is for for us. It is. It doesn't feel like something I've had before. I don't like think it's dough. <laughs> like cheese. It tastes like anything I've ever had before. <laughs> it's quite un like appealing to look at. <laughs> yes, it's not, a pretty, it's it's not a pretty food. <laughs> it's very unattractive. <laughs> it's like custard. No? Yeah, Steve. He loves it. <laughs> but in Jer- you actually like it? <laughs> you, if this was his the one in Malaysia food? is much better. It's like bright it's... yellow and flavorful. Yes. But it's the same texture? Same texture, same flavor, just more powerful. Wow. And very powerful in Malaysia. Anyway, do you have during challenge? Thank Wasn't you that for that experience. <laughs> <laughs> One bite is enough. Yep, yep. <laughs> Good for you guys. Sam, did we entice you into trying some durian? It's pretty yummy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our durian video. We will be back in Malaysia. <laughs> yeah. In... Less than eight days. Ooh, for real durian. For some of the real deal. So Fresh. nobody really liked the durian. It obviously wasn't the best durian I ever. Don't know how do you learn to like durian, Steve? How? The flavor what is was, good. What was your first impression when you first uh, tried durian? Honestly, I like strong flavors. I like blue cheese. I like vinegar. Right. I like strong flavors. So durian is unique, different, Except and strong. And Jovis, you don't like stuff. That's it's funny. strong flavors. I like strong flavors that are not from the sea. I think that's my point. But there you have it, guys. Yeah. So thanks for my family for trying. Some of them were not that interested in trying. Yeah. We sort of talked them into it, yeah. but thanks I'm, to them. Yeah. And thanks for watching. I'm surprised we could find uh, the whole fruit here in Canada. Uh, it's not from Malaysia. I mean, Malaysia needs to start exporting durian. Most of the durian we got here is from Thailand. Right. And it's not fresh. To, so when we open it, it was brown, which is not very appetizing to look yeah. at. But anyway, sort of gross. It is what it is. We got to try durian. It's not, it's not very strong, is it? It's kind of mild. Yeah. Uh, but that's the durian we could get in Canada. So there you have it. Boom! Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Later. Bye.